Hello, good morning everybody out there. Thought I'd do a bit more work on the garage. It's uh, Saturday morning. It's a little bit cloudy. So I thought I'd get on putting the beam in today. I did actually shoot quite a lot of footage yesterday, but unfortunately I deleted it by mistake. So a lot of the work and the preparation I've done, we haven't got. So as you can see, I've moved the car. I'm not gonna get the uh, truck dirty with cement. I've cut down a lot of the weeds. Just basically giving it a good clear up. I've got my stones ready for the concrete there. I managed to dig a, a fair bit of sand out. And this is the beam. As you can see, I've used tiles for the inner shuttering and there's cement board on the outer shutter in there and I've used the blocks just to hold them in place. So I've put the steel in place. You can see I've drilled four holes in the post there. I've had to be a bit careful because they're very close to the edge of the post. It's a very small post. And obviously in the post you've got steel reinforcing anyway, so I was only able to go in about 20 millimetres. And then you can see I've done the other end as well. I'll be taking these clay bricks out as I cement because I don't really want them in the in the concrete. They're just there to keep the formwork in place and keep the pressure pushing outwards. So there's my trusty mixer already. I mean this is paid for itself ten times over. Cost me about 13,000 baht. Uh, roughly about 300 pounds. But I've done all the flooring in, in the house. I've done all the concrete out here with it. I've done the other beam down there with it. It beats mixing it up with this thing, which a lot of tires do in a bucket. Which is hard work and I'm not gonna do that. So, let's go and have a look at the post hole. The pad stone we put in, it's hardened off. It got a little grubby where it rained and it, a lot of the dirt went down there. You can see it's ready to accept the post now. So I'm going to order the post up today as well while I go into Sea Ratna. Hopefully they can deliver it in the next couple of hours. I'll film it going in and we'll level it up and we'll concrete that in today as well hopefully. There's a lot of work to get on with but we're making progress. So I'll get cracking and I'll probably do a time lapse of the concrete in. You don't want to see me just mix it up concrete. I might as well paint the walls and watch it dry, eh? Got the first lot of mix on the go. The beam's going to arrive in about three hours. So I'll film that once the beam's here. I'm going to film getting it in the hole and levelling it up. Let's crack on. Oh, I finished at last. That took about five full mixes of concrete to fill that up. Let's have a look, shall we? There you go. I've used a, a floor tile trowel just to just to give it a key for the brickwork to set on. Not quite up at the line there, but I'm not worried. We can make that up with a mortar line. The front did blow out a little bit down there, as you can see. There's not a lot I can do about it now. There's so much concrete in there. You can, you're not going to push that back, so I'll let that set. Like I say, I'm going to render it all up at the end. So there you go. Now we're just waiting on the the post to come. Got enough stones left. Gonna have to sort some more sand from the sand pile at the front. But oh, let's kind of a rest, shall we? Well, the post just arrived, as you can see. I put it in the hole. Just got to level it up. Uh, probably going to put a slurry of just sand and cement 
in there first because a little bit of dirt did drop down underneath the, the base of the post and I can't dig it out quite frankly it's so, it's so tight I'm going to have a look in a minute anyway but the beam is starting to cure I'm probably going to give it another couple of hours and then I'm going to remove the fascia because I actually need this for when I finish the garage let's go and have a look at this post and see what we've got to do I'm pretty sure I can get away with just mixing up one mix of concrete there you go sitting beautifully on the pad stone in hindsight I could have actually made it a little bit wider but I think that's going to be enough it's deep enough just got to level it out and be very careful I don't want it falling on me it weighs an absolute ton but the height looks brilliant but let's get it level and then we'll go and check that out with the ladder well I've leveled it through so you can see that it's a bit of fishing line I've still been there holding it up that's as good as done it and that's as good as done it you won't get it a lot better than that see the fishing line going through here you've got about I don't know must be about two millimeters difference there but I'm not concerned about two millimeters over such a long stretch right so let's get this uh, concrete mixed up get it in the hole and we'll let it set the beam on the top lined up beautifully so the beam will go through and it'll bolt through in the two holes there right, I've also got a piece of line there I'm gonna run through just check it on the, the side of the house here okay I hope you can see this line Get on the house that is within about two millimeters which is fantastic spot on it's good enough for me very happy with that lines up a nice right angle wonderful okay let's get this concrete mixed up There we go. I actually put a bit of wood under the front just so I'm fill it up a little bit more. Just let that mix for a bit. Looks like we might be in for a bit of rain, so the quicker I get this in, the better. Okay, we've finished. For today at least. There was just enough concrete in that mix, so I didn't have to do up another one. I'm just going to check the level again okay that's as good as damn it and there that's as good as damn it yeah very pleased with that very pleased with the line up to the house and the line up to the other three posts the height of the steel that looks perfect I'll say there is a two inch drop on that steel but that's just gravity that's just the length of the steel pulling down on it once that goes up two inches top of that steel will be in line with the top of the post so all that's left to do today is to once that's cured a bit this beam just take the shutter in off both sides if I leave it overnight just to go hard it's going to stick to the concrete ball and I'm probably not going to get it off and I'm going to lose two three meter lengths of fascia which I don't really want to do that's about four hours since we put the beam in so I'm going to take the shutter in off make sure it doesn't stick when it dries hard I've taken all the blocks away as you can see you'll have to excuse my mother-in-law's radio over there she's her favorite program what do you mean? Do YouTube? Hello. 
อความสุขไหมเก่งมากเก่งมากโอเคย่ะ so we're gonna take the tiles away the inner shattering <coughs> and we're gonna take the cement board off as you can see it stepped out the bottom there so you can have a a step on that I'm not totally concerned it blew out on the top a little bit in the corner there but again it, you know it's in level with the other beam but the other half the top stepped out a little bit here and again kicked out there so probably not enough blocks on it anyway I'm gonna put you on the stand do a little time lapse of me removing all this and we'll see what it's like this the tiles off from the inner shuttering looks good very happy with it no air bubbles in there no massive ones anyway remove the cement board nice and cleanly got to try and get this tree stump out as well because I can see that interfering with the foundations I'm happy with that I might just take a trowel to this edge and just uh, try and smooth it off a bit yeah very happy so yeah I'm gonna call it a day now so this is gonna be part two of the garage build uh, these are the difficult parts um, the block work to seal it all in I mean it's probably gonna take one video it's uh, not something I'm gonna film it's like watching paint dry <laughs> I'm just filming what I need to do to get the the end result right and you know I'm pleased with what I've done so far I think the next point will be get the beam in down here between these two posts get a post in there between this beam and the house again we'll do a nice ring beam there I've got to be careful because that's where all my piping runs from the kitchen and the toilet but yeah and then it'll be steel work and then roof so if you like this one give me a thumbs up do subscribe if you haven't already uh, share with your friends if they're into this sort of thing i'll see you next time